All right, fellas, let's talk cigars. So I'm reading this book. It has nothing to do with the cigar. Checklist Manifesto. Very good book. I'm out here on my porch enjoying a cigar. I'm going to work a bit. I got some tax stuff to do to send my account. Which sucks. Um, but, uh, so let's talk cigars. These are Italian smokes. Um, I like them. They're, they're uh, a tasty cigar. Uh, and they're really small. So you can enjoy them a little more frequently. Now, cigars aren't good for you. But there is a single benefit, and I'll put the uh, oh fucker. I'll put the link or I'll put the studies down below in the description. I'll probably do an article on it. I might just link to the article down below. But the benefit of cigars is that they lower uh, or they block aromatase. They stop aromatase, which is a precursor to estrogen. So there's studies that show that smokers can have higher test testosterone levels than non-smokers. There's also downside. Smoking's horrible for you. Um, of the cigarette a variety, you inhale it, cancers, all this stuff. A cigar a week, uh, according to a, a uh, whatever throat, whatever specialist that I talk to, is not even. Um, it's not even on the, a blip on the radar for as far as worrying about health, um, but uh, so I, I used to smoke maybe once a month, if that. Now I'm I'm up to maybe three times a month, and citing that study where it blocks aromatase, so it, it, it aromatase is uh, it, it converts testosterone to estrogen, and a big problem with a lot of men. I think it's 33% of of North American men have low testosterone levels. A big part of that is that. Uh, we have too high estrogen levels or too high cortisol levels. So you want to do things that lower both your estrogen levels and your cortisol levels. Cigars actually help with lowering uh, the estrogen levels or the aromatase that turns testosterone to estrogen. Um, so it, it, it don't smoke a lot, but don't feel horrible about smoking the occasional cigar. Now, the problem with cigars is that you sometimes pair them with alcohol. So I have this beer with me. Beer is insanely estrogenic. It is by far, I think it's the worst alcohol you can consume for testosterone levels because it's very estrogenic. So if you have a cigar and you have alcohol with it, a cigar with coffee is probably the best thing you can uh, do with a pairing because you want, you want something to accompany the cigar normally. Um, what was I saying? So yeah, uh, ideally pair it with a whiskey of some kind. So just a quick video on, on cigars and testosterone. Um, there's more to testosterone than what you think. Uh, there's a lot of things you can do that are simple that will help you naturally increase your testosterone levels. Working out's a big one. Um, taking things like zinc, make sure, making sure your zinc D3 levels are, are at or where they should be is very important. Zinc blocks aromatase D3 uh, turns testosterone or it frees up the, the bound testosterone and makes it unbound. So most testosterone is bound to a protein. You want to unbind it so it can float around your body and, and uh, do what it's supposed to do. Um, help repair tissue, help with your sex drive, help uh, lower your chances of experiencing depression so there's a lot that you can do with testosterone in that vein I'm gonna give you a free report down below it's called the testosterone cheat sheet just go through that and click that link and um, sign up and you'll get a free report on how to boost your testosterone levels.